Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to create animated GIF in Photoshop. Before we begin, click thumbs up, subscribe our channel and hit the bell. So, let's start. First of all, we need to open a photograph from which we want to create a GIF. Uh, of course, if you have multiple photographs that you want to combine into a GIF, you can just open them all in the different layers over here, as you, as you know probably how to do it. And once we do that, we need to go up here to Window, Workspace and make sure Motion is selected. I'm going to create GIF from this photograph by changing the appearance of the girl a little bit. So, what I need to do right now is to right-click on the layer and then choose Duplicate Layer. Then we click OK and now we've got two layers that are exactly the same. And in order to duplicate layer you can also press Ctrl J on the keyboard of your computer. And once we have this layer we can go to Filter and liquify or the shortcut is shift ctrl x once we open liquify we can modify the appearance of the photograph in any way we want of course you don't have to use liquify in order to make your gif you can do anything else in photoshop you want change the colors etc so let's say i want eyes to become bigger so i would choose a bloat tool over here and then I would click one time to make eyes a little bit bigger, I click OK, and now we have two layers that are a little bit different because in one layer the eyes are a little bit bigger. So now we make sure this layer is selected, we press Ctrl J to create a new duplicate layer, and then Ctrl Shift X. This will open our liquify. We click on the eye again, to make it a little bit bigger, click OK, Ctrl J, Ctrl Shift X. Liquify is opened, we make it bigger again, and so on and so on. So it all depends on what effect you would like to achieve. I just want to make it simple and make the eyes bigger to show you how easy it is to make a GIF. So now as you can see I've got already several layers prepared and now we can move to the next step. In order to make a GIF from these layers we just need to click over here on create frame animation. As you can see one of the layers was added here and now we move our mouse to the right top corner of this panel over here. We click and then we choose make frames from layers. This will convert all the layers that we have into separate frames. As you can see over here I just did it and now down here we can choose how many times we want our animation to repeat. Three times forever, once or other where we can set up the number of times. So let's say I'm gonna choose forever and now when I click play as you can see the animation is playing. But as you can see, when it gets to the last frame, there is a huge jump to the first frame. So in order to make it smoother, we can select all the layers by holding shift and clicking on the last layer and then on the first layer. After we select all of them, we can click on this icon down here. This will duplicate them. As you can see, it duplicated them. And while they are still selected, we click over here on this menu icon as we clicked before and we choose reverse frames. Right now the frames were reversed and when I play it, as you can see the animation is running smoothly, it's becoming bigger and smaller eyes smoothly without any jumps. So this is how we can create a simple GIF in Photoshop from frames and now the next step would be to save this GIF. So in order to save our animated GIF we click File and then we choose Save for Web. After we click on it we can of course adjust preset over here so we click over here and we need to make sure that GIF one of the GIFs over here is selected. 
I'm gonna choose GIF 128. You can choose any other GIF over here. After we have GIF up here and down here, you can change the options over here. It's not necessary for you to do that. And down here we can change the size of our GIF. So if we want our GIF to be smaller, we can change it here by adjusting the percentage, for example. And over here we've got some animation settings. So we can select if we want our GIF to be played once, forever or other. So in other you can change it to 3, 5, 50 or any number of times you want it to be repeated. I'm gonna choose forever and then we can click play to check how our animation will look like. So it will look like this and when everything is okay we can click save. Uh, I'm gonna save it over here to this folder so I'm just gonna click save and right now my GIF was already saved. So let me just open the folder where I saved them and show you that it's gonna play. So I'm just gonna open this GIF and as you can see the GIF is already playing and of course if we open this GIF in a web browser it will also be playing in a web browser. So this is how we make an animated GIF using Photoshop. If you have any questions you can ask them in the comments, I'll try to answer all of them. And that's it for today, remember to click thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching!